everybody and welcome back to Sweet and Crafty. Mama Z is here. Today we are going to be talking about new movie Wicked. It's coming out very very soon and as you saw in the title this is part one. I will explain why this video will consist of two parts in just a little bit. Okay so I actually purchased uh, this Wicked special edition People magazine on Amazon. They do carry them at like grocery stores as well. I am looking forward to this movie i think it's going to do really really well there is tons of merch for a new wicked movie and obviously there are amazing actors in this movie and it's based on wizard of oz and then uh, wicked musical so yeah i think it's going to do great first i'm going to review this magazine i'm not going to be doing a lot of reading for you because i'm sure you will want to do a reading on your own i'm just going to do a quick preview and show you what's inside of this magazine and then in part two i'm going to chop 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 if you've been following our channel you know i like to create custom collage notebooks this is what i used to do when i was going to school university so we are going to make one of these inspired by wicked we have glinda and we have alphaba i looked through this magazine earlier and the details in their outfits and the whole movie production are unbelievable here's another page where we see both of them we're gonna learn information about the characters we're gonna learn information about the costumes music and uh look at this wicked Pedia. Very cool. This picture just looks so magical. And on the left we see posters for The Wizard of Oz 1939 and Wicked on Broadway 2003. Welcome to Oz and here is the scene from the movie. Also, look at this picture. It's so cute. The story behind a children's pop-up book introduces the legend of The Wizard of Oz giving Elfie, the idea that he can fix her troubles if only she could meet him here are some more characters from the movie Fero and Glinda have a nearly private moment under the eye of Fanny I'm not sure if I pronounced the names right so excuse me if I don't uh, star-crossed dance partners Glinda and Fero, Fero and Alphaba, Nesteros and Buck who pines for Glinda the love triangles should earn these students credit in geometry <laughs> How funny is that? Okay, another movie scene. Love this picture. I think I'm definitely going to be using this when I create my collage notebook. On the next few pages, you will learn information about uh, the main characters and how they got part in this movie. Not that girl. I care so deeply about wicked that i didn't want this part if i wasn't right for it says grande but i wanted to earn it and give it my absolute all she looks like such a beautiful princess i love all the pink i've been seeing so many different fashions inspired by glinda as well as alphaba here's ariana grande when she was younger Ariana's Broadway debut and some more information about her. Next we have Alphaba and I love her fashion. It's really really cool. I love the details even though you know her outfits are mostly black. If you have a closer look there are so many details in that outfit. Here is Cynthia when she was doing her audition. Here's her when she got called that she got the part. Look how excited she is. And also in this picture, there are so many emotions. Cynthia says that she loves her character. She hopes that whoever watches this, whoever feels like they don't fit, I hope that they feel seen and she knows she did. Now let's talk about fashion. So the other day we went to the mall and also before that we went to Target and they have really cool fashions for adults, kids, anyone, lots of accessories and clothing for Wicked. The, these two pages dedicated to bewitching glamour. I am obsessed with Alphaba's nails. I think they are so cool. All of these outfits look very beautiful, chic, and I really love how they match their outfits. Like for example, these ones look very chic, 
by plain. These we have lots of ruffles going and puffy materials. Here we have some flowery details with some sequin, beautiful lawn dresses decorated in petals and flowers. On the next page we can learn about Madame Morrible. Also check out her beautiful dress. It's blue and golden. Here is a compass looking design. Also her jewelry is really really pretty. Here is Firo the Prince. I actually know this actor from Bridgerton. I used to watch those episodes. Next you have Bok. A breakout star for Spongebob Squarepants on Broadway. The actor lands the munchkin role that had eluded him on stage. Next is Nessa Rose who is playing the part of Alphaba's sister, singing, dancing, flying, and making a little wicked history. And we have Dr. Dillamont, who is a goat. Oz is a world where animals play a role. Next, Fanny and Shen Shen. I can apologize if I pronounce it wrong. And the wizard. We know Jeff Goldblum for many very famous roles. I know him mostly from Jurassic Park and Jurassic World, but he's a great actor and he is playing the wizard. A magical voyage. Okay, so here we'll see some uh, scenes from the movie and just look how everything is decorated. So many details. It looks very realistic. You would think they would be using a lot of green screen, which I'm sure they did. But also look at all of the setup. Lots going on behind all the production this picture is so cool i really like it just hearing him speak i instantly knew that this story that i love so much couldn't possible be in better hands john chu is uh the wicked movie director now let's look at all of the details for the fashion what well, i'm sure not all of the details but many of them i am obsessed with alphabet's glasses as you see it kind of has an infinity design now look at her boots so these boots were made for more than walking down to her feet you see the power she holds these are the outfits including uh shiz uniform outfits Next we have Glinda. Here is a beautiful sketch of her uniform. Uh, she's university has student uniforms, but they are completely individualized. Her beautiful tiara, her magic wand. Her dress is decorated with lots of glitter, sequin, crystals, etc. Her beautiful shoes on a crystal heel. Madame Morrible also has absolutely gorgeous outfits. Here are more pictures of Shiz uniform. And here's the beautiful nature. Here's the yellow bridge. This is what it looks like before. And these are all real flowers. Absolutely beautiful. There's so much work put in into this movie. Here are the rooms. More beautiful nature scenes. The man behind the curtain. Author Gregory Maguire is an American novelist and he is the author of Wicked. This is the picture from Wicked on Broadway musical. They also had really nice costumes, lots of details. This is the flying monkey right there. Lots of pictures from the musical, awards that were earned. And look at Ariana Grande in Alphabus outfit. That is neat, huh? Okay, so this is Wikipedia. Anybody thirsty for some delicious Starbucks drinks? Look, Glinda's and here is Alphabus. From Starbucks, two special drinks. Glinda's Pink Potion, which has a peppy combo of mango dragon fruit and coconut milk, and Alphabus Cold Brew with peppermint syrup and matcha cold foam. Wow. I live in low carb diet and cannot have sugar, but man, these drinks are delicious. More information, more facts, and a credits in the back. And I really like this picture. I see it online everywhere. And now whatever way our stories end, I know you have rewritten mine by being my friend. And yeah, so this is uh, People's Magazine Special Edition dedicated to Wicked Musical, Movie, Wizard of Oz. Now, talking about part two, 
that's where we are going to be DIYing a collage notebook and I'm really really excited uh, to create my own Wicked notebook. Click the like button if you're looking forward to watching a Wicked a movie that is coming out in the end of November. Also leave me a comment below if you are team Alphaba or team Galinda. And don't forget to subscribe to Sweet and Crafty. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!